Yeah. Well, we, we saw an interesting thing on the um, House floor today, Mr. Mayor, when Bradley Dean gave the prayer, and I noticed on Facebook that you commented on that. Well, you know, right now with all the incredibly tough issues we have about jobs and the budget and, and so many other things, it's really time to bring people together. How in the world, in this backdrop that we have, could people possibly suggest that now is the right time to have a big divisive debate about marriage equity? And then to actually invite a minister who talked about jailing gay people to give the invocation on the floor of the Minnesota Capitol. I don't understand that, but I do understand this. The values of Minnesotans are really based, I believe, around decency and fairness. Not everybody gets to the same point about marriage equity. Not everybody uh, looks at people who are members of the GLBT community the same way, but I do believe Minnesotans are not about having an 18-month debate about hate and that's what we are about to see now in the next few hours we'll find out whether the house republicans are going to vote as a block to uh to put this on the ballot i believe that would be horrible for this state and i really ask everyone right now this minute to find anybody in any other part of the state and make sure you're encouraging them to call their legislators and saying we don't need a year and a half of hate in this state we need a year and a half of people working together we need a year and a half of people creating jobs and we need a year and a half of people looking at people who they perceive to be different and trying to understand them now that's something that seems to me to be common sense. Different things come in different ways when you're passing laws, but when you're actually trying to amend the Constitution of the state of Minnesota to be biased against certain people, you're going on to some amazingly different turf. I will predict this. If this does go on the ballot, it will lose. I believe the decency of Minnesota will come, true, will come through. I believe what will happen is that uh, the people who think that putting this on the ballot will somehow be a way to energize the Republican conservative base will see it blow up in their face. Now what's going to happen is this will energize decent Minnesotans to recognize that people who preach hate on the floor of our state capitol don't belong there and they should, certainly shouldn't be reelected. So I ask you to do what you can, as quickly as you can, to get the word to the state capitol. We don't need this debate, but more than anything else, I ask you to be what Minnesota has always been, decent and fair and recognizing we don't need a constitution to hate each other. We need people to love each other. We may have crossed a tipping point. Today, the Gallup poll people released a poll that said for the first time, the majority of Americans support marriage equity. Hmm. You know, I understand the marriage equity uh, issue pretty directly because of what happens in our office. I've said this before, but it really rings true to me. I walk home at night and uh, my wife is there and uh, she, you know, supports me on a lot of different levels and in return for that, the citizens of Minneapolis extend my benefits to her. That's because we're married. Now, on the other side uh, of my wall is Jeremy Hansen Willis, who is married to Sam, but not legally married in Minnesota, and therefore, same benefits don't apply. We deal with the same issues. Sam does the same thing that Megan does, and yet he's not able to get the same benefits. That's simply not fair. On the other wall is John Stiles. He goes home to Javier. Exact same issues, exact same situation. He can't get the same benefits I have. Now that's one of 515 pieces of Minnesota law that discriminate against people who are not legally allowed to get married. It's one thing for people to have value judgments about other people's lifestyle. Fine, keep it to yourself, keep it out of the Constitution. But when we're talking about the laws of this state, when we're talking about the fairness of everyone in this state, I believe it's really time for us to simply wake up and say, we have a whole lot more things to do right now than hate each other. So let's give people equal rights. Let's allow them to live in a state that encourages them. And by the way, let's not chase people out of this state who are creating jobs in this state simply because a few people want to preach hate on the floor of the Capitol.